Hello and welcome back to GoldStockTrades.com. Today we have with us George Salamis. George is CEO of Edgewater Exploration. Edgewater can be traded as EDW on the venture. Thanks, George, for being here with us today. Jeb, great to chat with you again, as always. George, explain the significance of the news this week on receiving the EIS approval and now being permitted for the Corcoesto Gold Project in northern Spain. Yeah, sure. Um, this is the result. Basically, the approval of the Environmental Impact Statement, or EIS, as it's called, uh, is is one of the major milestones of this company. It's something that we've been working on for the past year. And consistently in conversations that we've had or presentations that we've given to investors, people see that we've taken the project through the various levels of, of, of scoping studies on its way to bankable feasibility studies, uh, infill drilling, et cetera. But consistently the one question that comes up to us is, you know, tell us about the permitting situation in, in Spain. And the question is always, you know, is Spain a difficult place to get a project permitted from an environmental perspective? And I think we've proven that, no, it's not difficult. If the, if the company has the right asset, the right approach, and goes through it in, in a very sort of consistent and, and methodical means of, of going through the permitting process, then one can get to the finish line, which is what we've just proven. You've had some significant progress in 2012 that's culminated in this recent approval. Let's talk about going as we transition into 2013. What catalyst do we see coming up in 2013? Well, 2013 and specifically the first half of 2013 is going to be huge for us. So having just completed the environmental uh, impact statement uh, assessment process and approval, uh, that now gives us the green light to really move the project forward uh, to, towards a development decision. And uh, along with that goes uh, the input of all of the infill drilling that we've done over the course of the year. We've done 45,000 meters of infill drilling basically with the view of converting a lot of the inferred resources to an unmeasured and indicated category for the purposes of the bankable feasibility study. So we have, uh, in 2013, early 2013, we have the new resource estimate to come out, and I think that's that's going to be a, a number that's going to satisfy us, at, at the very least, that we have a viable uh, deposit uh, in our hands. And then after, thereafter is the um, bankable feasibility study, or the BFS, uh, which will be the culmination of, of not only the infill drilling work, uh, not only the resource estimate, but all the engineering work that's going to show how we're going to build this mine and, and how profitable that, that mine will be. And that is scheduled for some time towards the end of the first quarter, beginning of the second quarter of next year. George, could you describe to us the benefits of the Corcoesto Gold Project to the surrounding communities in northwest Spain? Yeah, sure. And this is probably one of the biggest drivers uh, in in the permitting and, and EIA or EIS approval process has been the, the the benefits to the region. Obviously, we have to build this mine and operate it in a very environmentally responsible manner. But so one of the big drivers from the government's perspective has been the economic benefits to the region. This mine will employ uh, directly about 270 people and indirectly over a thousand. Uh, people as a result of, of building and operating this mining operation. So this will be a huge um, wealth generator for the region, a, a huge employer in the region, and the government recognizes this, this fact. So, um, again, this was a big driver for us in the end of the day. Well, George, thanks for being here with us today and for giving us an update on the recent permitting approval and some for some catalysts going into 2013. Yeah, thank you, Jeb, and I look forward to uh, talking to you in, in early part of the first quarter of, of next year uh, about resource enhancements and then the bankable fe feasibility study thereafter. Look forward to it, George.